Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own whack-a-mole game. You can either use these personalized sock puppets that I'll show you how to make, or you can make this as a human whack-a-mole where you put a person inside to jump up. This is a great rainy day activity. My son loved every step of this and he helped me make it from start to finish. So I'm just going to walk you through how we made our whack-a-mole game. First you need a big old box. I used this one that I had saved from an Amazon shipment and we're just going to, you know, pull that box out and then you're going to draw six circles on the top of it. Um, you could probably do four or, uh, you know, some other number if you wanted to, but six worked out well for me. Uh, we used my son's yellow bucket to trace around the circles. We knew it fit over his head and my head, so it worked out well. So you just draw your nice circles on there and next you're going to cut those out. You can either use an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. I had scissors handy so I used that. Uh, but you can see again that my son enjoyed every part of this. Next we're going to paint this bad boy so it looks a little less like cardboard. I use this paint daub marker. I like this. I got it at Walmart pretty cheap. Um, it comes off of skin easily. It goes on quickly, it dries quickly, so with toddlers, you know, even if they step on it, um, it's probably not going to track too easily because it dries very quickly. So we painted it up, made it look a little better. Next I'm going to work on the backboard. I used just a piece of white foam board and I printed out some decorations. You can print them on full sheet labels or just use regular paper and then glue them on or use double stick tape. Next, I attached it to the back of my box and I used some heavy uh, double-sided tape on the front of it to attach it to the box and then I used clear packing tape on the back to attach it. Next, I wanted to dress it up a little bit so I had some of these little circle stickers around and so I put circle stickers all over it as well as stars and that just made it a little look uh, a little dressier kind of made it look like lights which I liked um, I will warn you though these come off pretty easily um, so you know I kind of ended up finding these around the house next I'm going to use dark fabric transfers to make my personalized sock puppets so you can see how these look um, three faces on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper uh, next I'm going to take an old sock that I had laying around the house, fill it with some polyfill. Um, after I filled it with polyfill, I tied a knot in the bottom of it and I'm going to iron that face right on there. So these are dark iron-on transfers, so you peel the back of them off. You don't have to flip the image or anything, you don't have to reverse the image. You just print the image onto the dark iron-on and then you peel the backing off as I'm going to do right now. And then it, ha it comes with kind of a transparent piece of paper that you put on top of it to iron it down. And I would just say that when you're ironing these, over iron it. So iron it more than you feel like you really have to. Um, you know, whatever the directions say for the heat is appropriate. So I think it's usually cotton or wool. Um, but you just want to kind of overdo it as far as the ironing and really push down hard use your, your full weight. And then this is how they look. So now we have three nice personalized little moles um, and if you want you can also use these as just little sock puppets. So if you leave the knots in them and you just kind of uh, play around with them you can have a lot of fun. You could do family pets, you know, you could use different colored socks and do your dogs or cats or whatever. Next I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this mole a little body so that it stands upright and is a little more rigid. I'm using uh, coffee creamer bottles so I just took the lids off and I did undo my knot from my sock puppet and I'm going to put him on there and pull it pretty tight, uh, as tight as you can, just pull the sock down to make it nice and tight and then I'm going to take the rubber bands, I'm going to put one at the neck and one uh, further down on the bottom and this is just going to make our mole you know stand up straight and after I get this mole in place you're going to see that I'm going to put him on a stick 
I put the bowl on a stick so that I can use them kind of as levers. So I'm, I end up at the back of the mole game, um, you know, pulling the levers back and forth and then pushing them up into the holes on the mole game. But you can see this works pretty well. You just pull the sock down, you know, if it gets a little bit loose, pull that polyfill down and pull the sock down nice and tight um, to keep it upright. I'm going to put the next rubber band around the bottom and then this guy is pretty much done. Alright, this is the back, so this is where you're going to cut out the levers and I just did a very quick outline of each stick so I have sticks that I'm going to attach to those moles and I just kind of drew the outline of them on the back. This doesn't have to be pretty. You can see that I'm just using a pair of scissors to kind of just chop down. I don't cut all the way down to the box. I just need to be able to cut down far enough so that I can pull the moles um, down, you know, and move them side to side or front and back. Now to attach the coffee creamer moles, I use some heavy double stick tape first. Um, I use that and attach it to the wood. And now I just really use a ton of duct tape. I had some white duct tape and so I'm just going to really tape it with a bunch of duct tape over and over until I feel like that um, coffee creamer bottle with the mole on it is nice and tight. So here's how they look. I've got my guys done and now I'm just going to push it through the game into those back slots that I cut open. Do that for each one of them. I made three obviously um, and then you can just pull it back and forward to push the mole through uh, the hole. I did mark on my stick where I would, you know, how far I needed to pull back. I took a marker and marked it on the stick. But once I kind of got going with this and was playing the game, it doesn't really matter that much. You can kind of peek through the slots and see where to push the mole up through the hole. And then you can see that you just pull it up and it's a good time. Uh, I could say that uh, this was a big hit at my house and we're still playing with a whack-a-mole a lot. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I have other tips on other rainy day activities. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.